Hi, it's Todd Mansell here again. Now we're going to continue this video series with the operator controls. I've gotten up on the in the operator station on the machine. I'm going to get myself comfortable here, adjust the, the operator's station steering wheel where I want it, and I'm going to put my seatbelt on here. And then what we'll do is cover the operator controls on this GCS Com series machine. Now that I've got my seatbelt on, I'm getting ready to start the machine. I'm going to raise the armrest here and turn on the key. For the demonstration uh, in this video, I'm not actually going to start the machine, but I want to make sure my park brake here is on. So that's the red switch. It should be on from when I parked the machine at the end of the last shift. And again, my key is back here. I'll turn that to start the machine. This switch here is the engine throttle switch. When I do power up the machine, start the engine, this switch here, it will default start the engine in eco mode. With this switch, I can go to the left there, the decrease, and that will put it in low idle. If I go to the increase, it'll put it back into eco mode. And if I press and hold the increase, it'll take the engine to full engine rpm or full engine speed so that's my throttle switch that's my park brake on off switch that's the horn this big red button here is my e-stop or my emergency stop so if i get into an emergency situation i want to stop the machine immediately kill the engine i hit that button press down on it and that will stop the engine and the machine immediately before I can restart it after I do that, I have to make sure that the propel lever is back in neutral, the park brake is on, and that e-stop or emergency stop is pulled back up again. Here's the propel lever, forward, neutral, forward, neutral, reverse, and on top of the propel lever is my vibration on and off switch for the vibration on the, on the drum. So that's the operator controls on the right-hand console of the operator station. Next, we'll take a look at the display and operator controls up on the operator's console. So if we just look at the gauge display up here, on the far left side, we've got the indicator for the def fluid. On the center part here, we've got the RPM indicator for engine speed, and then on the Right here is our fuel level indicator. In the center here, we've got a digital display that I'll show later, but we can toggle through different machine information systems, such as the number of hours on the machine, the fuel level, machine drive power number indicator. So I'll cover those in a, in a few minutes here. If we start on the lower right of the console, we've got the amplitude setting. So that's our drum vibration, how hard that drum is hitting. Right now it's on the low amplitude setting. And if I go to the middle position on that, it is off. And then if I go to the high position, that's high amplitude or the hardest hitting ability of this machine. So again, that changes our amplitude of vibration on the drum of this machine. The next button over here is just what we call our auto vibe. So if I have it where it is now, it's in what we call the manual mode. I'm operating vibration of the drum on and off using that button I talked about on the propel lever. If I put it in auto mode, what that does is engages vibration when I leave neutral and when I come back to neutral, vibration automatically shuts off. The next button over here is the gear selection range. So we have a turtle and a rabbit. The turtle is low gear. This is the recommended gear for operating when we're doing compaction. If I put it in high gear or rabbit, that's meant for travel mode, moving the machine around the job site. It will still operate and vibrate in that, in that high range, but we really recommend using the low range when we're in operating conditions. The next button here is a 
I press and it automatically releases or springs back, that's the one that shows different modes on that digital display up at the up in the operator's panel here. The next button over is just our simply our lights. So we've got our uh, front lights only in the bottom position, lights off, and then if I go to the top position with that switch, that uh, turns on all the lights on this machine. And the final button that we have here is our rotating amber beacon or warning light on top of the ROPS or the cab of this machine. The blank spots that you see here are just for other switches for various machine options that are not not on this particular machine so the info button here if i toggle that button it changes what we see in the digital display up here on the operator station so right now i just have the key on the machine is not actually running so we're seeing engine hours and it's flipping back showing the hydraulic oil temperature is currently low because the machine is not running so i'm going to press that info button and toggle through a few things just quickly here so we're looking at battery voltage now i've got mdp machine drive power and cmv or compaction meter value showing up there so those are compaction indicators and at the bottom i've got the machine hours showing in that display if i press that info button again now it toggles just to a different format some of the same information i've got cmv I've got vibrations per minute on the frequency. It's still flashing low hydraulic temperature just because we're stopped here. So I'm gonna flip back to where we were and keep going. It's also got speed in there, CMV value, and I'll continue pressing that button. Speed now is just showing up in kilometers per hour, one, one big number there. Here's the machine drive power number. So if I do have machine drive power on this machine installed, it's a great indicator of my uh, compaction. So as I move along on co cohesive soils with that machine drive power, it, that number will increase somewhere between zero and 150, showing increasing numbers as that soil gets more and more compacted. But again, back to the info button, all I need to do is toggle through and several different settings or visual displays depending on what the operator operator preference is what they want what the operator wants to see in that screen at any given time so that's the info button and that completes our GC series video on the operator controls we hope it was useful and be safe and we hope to see you out there soon 